It sure as hell feels good to sit down and talk to you guys again, and I missed doing one-on-one -on -one videos, so let's get back into it with a brand new Halloween Horror Nights speculation map from our good friends over at HN Nightmares. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just calm down! Version 2 for Hollywood. We're going to be covering Hollywood today. We won't be covering Orlando. If you want to go see the Orlando covers, I suggest channels much like Edutainment, Hollow Thrills, Lost TV, Zombie Chris. I don't think Connor Florida does it, but you know, go subscribe to Connor Florida too. Uh, without further ado, let's break it down. So there's a lot to take in with HN Nightmare's latest speculation map. I have it actually right here in front of me, and you guys will see it throughout the screen. Uh, you guys will actually see it right, probably right now. But we're going to break down each and every one of these properties and uh, what it looks like for the future of Halloween Horror Nights in 2023. Now, mind you, this is only a speculation map. Nothing other than Chucky has been confirmed. Chucky, wanna play? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, that's right, I'm back. And I'll see you suckers at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights next year. An all new haunted house, inspired by the hit USA sci-fi series Chucky, is coming in 2023 to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood. I can't wait to play. <laughs> And catch new episodes of Chucky Wednesdays at 9 on USA and Sci-Fi. So, uh, this is based on pure speculation. However, uh, in the future, or in the in the past, I'm sorry, uh, HN Nightmares has been scary accurate with these uh, speculation maps. So, thank you HN Nightmares for all you guys do out there. Uh, we really appreciate you here on the channel. Thank you! Um, and we appreciate you uh, giving the community something to talk about. So, hold on to your butts. Let's start with our very first thing on the very top corner, which is labeled Top Secret. It will be in the soundstage right behind Transformers and in between Transformers and Super Nintendo World. So, I got a couple things that are going to mind. The latest rumor that everyone's been talking about is Stranger Things 4 coming back to Halloween Horror Nights. Stranger Things returning to Halloween Horror Nights for the first time. I, I, I think it was the first time since 2019, maybe? Uh, the last time Stranger Things was at the event, which was Stranger Things 2. Um, not the best, in my opinion, but um, I did notice there was a lot of changes throughout the season as far as like updates and people having uh, weapons that they didn't have before or, or uh, talent that wasn't in certain spots, but they, now they were. So Stranger Things 4 can be good. There's a lot to work off based off Stranger Things 4. And I'm telling you right now, if you do Stranger Things 4, I better see the Eddie Munson guitar scene. I just, I have to see it. It's it's easily one of the most badass scenes I've ever seen in cinema. I actually just bought the Funko Pop. It's like right up there of Eddie and Dustin on top of the RV with the demo bats coming at them, so. Chrissy, this is from you. Yeah, I, so that's the top rumor right now is, is Stranger Things 4 is probably gonna be making a return to um halloween horror nights now if anyone knows stranger things is no seek is no like um stranger to the event it's been at the event uh twice before so i'm excited to see uh what happens and, and if they bring it back another um one that you can say that might come obviously with the success last year uh the weekend returns for another maze um or anything music related could be uh, coming to the event uh, as far as another band or another artist that he that John Murdy is working with so it all it all really depends on on, on how you look at it I, I say that the weekend did successful this last year because every time I went it was like a three-hour wait so I mean that's that brought in a lot of numbers but uh, yeah I'm not too sure that uh, the weekend returns or they get a new artist or or what but whatever is in this top secret uh, maze we probably won't figure out until later down the line we haven't even gotten an announcement ever since chucky so we should be due for an announcement anytime now they are a little late this year for announcements compared to last year um so let's just keep our ears open we are going into may now so we may potentially get an announcement in may um 
It's gonna be me. Maybe mid to late May. I'm hoping. I'm hoping sooner. It's gonna be me. But uh, you know, if we get an announcement, we'll talk about it right here on the channel. So yeah, uh, this next one is is trippy to me. The Exorcist Believer. Now, this is the new title of the Blumhouse film, um, The Exorcist Believer, which is supposed to be a direct sequel to the original Exorcist film, um, and it's supposed to be a trilogy, from what I've heard. You're gonna have The Exorcist, The Exorcist Believer, and then whatever that third movie is going to be. Um, this one is supposed to take place with two children this time instead of just one and I had also heard that the original mom who played the mom in the very first exorcist is going to be making a return for exorcist believer no word yet if um if we're gonna get Reagan to come back in this in this timeline or whatnot uh we'll see hopefully that she'll come back for like kind of to help out and whatnot or the demon will recognize her maybe the demon's trying to get get at her so but I, i'm super excited for the sequel of this exorcist film blumhouse is honestly it, it, it's really hit or miss with blumhouse but lately they've kind of been killing it with some movies which i've really enjoyed so i'm super excited to see what they can accomplish with the sequel to the exorcist should be a lot of fun now this one is an interesting one this is located oh by the way exorcist believer i think is located um at the at the mummy Q, I believe. Uh, looking at it, it kind of looks like the Mummy Q. This is where it kind of confuses me a little bit. Uh, I, I'm thinking we're going to get a new location looking at this map. Um, we got two mazes on the, on the right side of the Transformers attraction. Uh, usually, we only have three mazes down there the last couple of years that we've had the event. It's been a soundstage maze. It's been the... Um, or yeah, or last year, I'm sorry. Last year was the first year we had three mazes down there. We had a soundstage maze. We had the back of the soundstage maze. And then we had the Mummy Q. Uh, this year, there's looking like to be four. Um, so I'm excited to see what this uh, this third location is. Now, now that I'm kind of looking at it, maybe Exorcist. Mm, no, Exorcist still looks like it's in Mummy. I thought it was going to be back. I thought they are going to be back to Jurassic World Q, which would have been cool. Uh, Demon Slayer. I know nothing about this property. I know it's an anime, and I know it's a pretty big anime. I know a lot of people talk about it. I have never seen an episode, never read any of the books, if there is any, or, or seen any of the movies, if they, they have any. I've never seen anything to do with this property. I know the name, and I know that it's anime. Um, what the hell is this? It would be interesting to see something like this appear at Halloween Horror Nights. Now, based off the name Demon Slayer, I'm assuming that's what the fucking show's about a guy who slays demons or a person or an entity or something that slays demons i don't know yeah no shit sherlock i just know if it's done right it could probably work out i would have to probably watch a few episodes just to kind of get an idea of the uh the vibe of this show it, it where the horror aspects lie and whatnot which i'm assuming like i said by the name of the title demon slayer is going to have a lot of horror aspects to it um so I'm not going to oppose this one out. Honestly, like, I know a lot of people are kind of like, oh, why Demon Slayer? I don't know. I mean, I've never seen anything to Demon Slayer, and I'm willing to give it a chance. So I, I think I've really learned my lesson last year when we when we went through the weekend. Um, so, yeah. Great maze. Just, you know, not still not a fan of the music. Um, Holidays in Hell. Returning to Halloween Horror Nights. Now, I've noticed in the last couple of years we've had a, a return or two maze to come back to kind of fill in a gap. If Holidays in Hell does return, I'm, I'm curious to that. It, it, I mean, there's no other way you can really do it. Uh, in my opinion, it's already kind of been done, so it might just be a repeat maze, which I'm hoping is going to be fun again, and hopefully it's it's Figure's music again, so it'd be a representation of Figure back at the event um, as far as a maze goes. So I'm hoping that that works out. Uh, this is where it comes a little tricky, though, because Demon Slayer and Holidays in Hell are both kind of in the same location. So are they building two mazes back of Transformers, or are we getting another soundstage, or how are they going to make this work? I have no clue. Uh, I don't even know if this is going to be the for sure like list of where all the mazes are. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this one's another kind of anonymous one that a lot of people have been trying to figure out. Uh, this one looks kind of like in the shape of an owl. Um... And this one's in the Parisian Courtyard. Now, this one, you've been seeing a lot of construction a lot uh, around the park from a lot of people who've been posting it on social media and whatnot. Uh, and it's looking like the facade is looking like it's going to be built by, like, brick or something like that. Or it's supposed to be a brick design. Uh, which is kind of giving me, from what I've seen, like, um, another Mexican folktale or another kind of Hispanic folktale. Um, 
Last year in that location, we had Lyarona, which was a return maze. Uh, the last time we saw that was in 2012, and uh, 10 years later, it made its return, uh, and it was fucking great to go back through that again. A lot of nostalgia for me, because that was like one of the first mazes I went through in 2011, so that was really cool to see that, um, to see that return. Now, based upon rumors that I've been hearing and, and things that have happened in Orlando in the past... I'm going to speculate, and I don't know if this would probably be a, a logo for that, but I'm going to speculate uh, the Chupacabra. The only reason I'm saying that is I know it was, I believe they had a maze in Orlando or a scare zone or something, or, or maybe that was just rumored. I don't know if it ever came, but Chupacabra would be a really cool maze to go through. If you can make that really scary and make that storyline really good, um, I am so for it. I, I, I love any time that... Horror Nights in here in Hollywood does an original. It comes out fantastic. Um, and I've been a fan of a lot of the originals that they've made in the past. So I'm excited to see what they have to do with this one. If it's going to be an original or if, or if it's going to change to something else, we, we'll see. I don't know. This this lineup is kind of looking stacked. And at the same time, you just you don't know what it's, it's going to be hit or miss or not. Uh, in the Walking Dead location, uh, one that I've been a fan of this this year, I'm a fan of these games when they came out, and I'm a fan of the TV show, and it freaking, it really took off the TV show, and I'm very happy for the TV show. Uh, the Last of Us, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us. Um, the Last of Us was a great TV show. It was also a very fucking great game. So it was, it was, it was no, uh, it was a no-brainer that this this was gonna work on TV. This was easily one of my favorite shows so far this year, um, and the cast was great. They told the story, and so many shot-for-shot -shot remakes within the game. For those of the, those of you who've never who don't play video games or or don't know what I'm talking about. The Last of Us started as a video game exclusively on the PlayStation consoles, and then Sony and PlayStation decided they wanted to make it into a live-action show. So they uh, did two games, and then they worked on the live-action show, which came out phenomenal. So I'm excited to see what happens in Season 2 and how they how they go about that. Uh, a lot of changes for The Last of Us for the better, and a lot of story added, and... Um, our two main characters from the game also got cameos in the show. There was cameos from other characters that are in the game. Some people, some characters in the game even played themselves in the show. So that was really cool. Um, and I'm excited because this will be going in the Walking Dead building, which is essentially a soundstage. And there's no place better to put The Last of Us. This was a great show. I'm excited to see what they do as far as the makeup or mask-wise goes on this. To see how the clickers look if they do do this. Um, and if we're going to see some Joel and Ellie throughout the, throughout the maze. Like, I'm, I'm so stoked to see how if they bring this one to life. Like I, I really am. I know this was predicted last year in anticipation for the show. But I feel like this year would be the year for it to come after the show has come out. Now people have more time to watch the show. On top of that, if people want to take it a step further and play the game. The first game, they could do that as well to get them even more excited. Um, but yeah, The Last of Us coming to, to, to HHN for me is a huge win. If it does come, I will be very excited for this maze, and I guarantee you this maze will probably be the top of my my anticipation list. Uh, Terror Tram Celebrities. Now, this is interesting. Uh, I know, I think, I want to say last year, we had the speculation of Terror Tram, Terror Tram Celebrities, and they kind of gave us a Terror Tram Celebrities. You had Hollywood Harry return. He was throwing on his uh, party in the back lot right there with the Bates Motel and the Bates House and the uh, the plane crash scene from War of the Worlds. And then when you tran uh, transitioned over to uh, the other side, which was uh, Jupiter's Claim, uh, you got transported in the world of Jordan Pill with Nope and us with a couple of cameos from get out um so that was a lot of fun and that kind of gave me the celebrity okay like hollywood harry to me is an is an hhn um you know icon now in hollywood um and you know jordan pill is no stranger to the event and no stranger to universal studios in general so um i'm excited to see what they do with this uh it depends on if they're going to bring back old stuff, if they're going to do something brand new and original, I mean, there's a lot you can do with this. Celebrities is a huge name. Since I've gone, it's either, I, I, I remember I did one year where it was Scream, which was 2011. Every year after that was either uh, Walking Dead or The Purge. And then we finally got Hollywood Harry, and then I've gotten a few Hollywood Harry ones now. So I'm excited to see what they do with the Terror Tram. Terror Tram is usually one of my favorites at the event. Um... Because I just love walking those historic sets, so it's just cool. And then you mix that with the haunt vibe, and it's it's awesome. Universal Monsters Paris. Now, a lot of people I've had conversations with are kind of confused as to why they would call this one Paris. For those who don't know, 
The Phantom of the Opera actually takes place in Paris. Um, so when I first heard that name, I'm like, this is gonna be a Phantom of the Opera maze. Phantom of the Opera got a little brief scene in Universal Monsters 2018, which was really cool. It showed him playing his piano and kind of like all messed up and everything. But that was the only scene that we got of the Phantom. Ever since then, we haven't gotten it, the Phantom return at all in any Universal Monsters maze. You look at 2018, it was kind of like a compilation of all the Universal Monsters. And then you look at 2019, we had Frankenstein meets the Wolfman uh, with a little cameo from the Bride. You look at uh, 2021, and that was The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, which was phenomenal. Uh, it included both uh, The Bride, The Monster, and uh, The Brides of Dracula, which was awesome. Last year, we got Universal Monsters Legends Collide featuring The Mummy, um, Dracula, and The Wolfman. It's time to give someone else the spotlight, and I couldn't have think of a better one than The Phantom of the Opera. Now, we're talking the original black and white, no sound... Uh, picture of the phantom of the opera before it got you know uh, a reboot and then you know they kind of reimagined it to be more of like a love drama story which is fantastic on broadway if you ever get a chance to see phantom of the opera which i believe it's closed now but if it ever does make a resurgence of some sort go check out phantom of the opera it is one of the greatest shows i've never seen it in person but i've watched it like on like a bootleg version of it a few times i know i probably shouldn't say that but i found it on on youtube so hey it is what it is. Um, I'm excited though. If they do the Phantom and kind of do what they did with the with the Bride of Frankenstein Lives, kind of give it that like spiritual sequel of like this is what happens afterwards. Or this is what happened to the Phantom afterwards. I mean, I'm for it, man. I really am. I mean, I, I've loved every Universal Monsters maze that's come. They have not disappointed. And then you add music by Slash on it, which has been a tradition here in Hollywood for since the, the start of this. It's just perfect. I'm super looking forward to seeing what Slash comes up with for the Phantom. There's, you know, that that movie's based on music of, of the opera and whatnot. So to kind of blend that music mixed with like Slash's music, it's gonna sound incredible in my opinion. Uh, and then I'm curious to see how they make the Phantom scarier and 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 kind of continue off that lore of him being that that kind of like that monster. So I'm excited for it. And of course, Chucky has already been. Um, announced so there's not really much to say on that we've kind of given our thoughts and opinions about it uh two things i want to point out uh death eaters looks like it's probably going to be returning for um hogsmeade so i'm excited for that death eaters was really cool last year um and, and they really did some cool effects with the fogs and whatnot and some of the certain alleys and whatnot so that was really cool i want to talk a little bit about the show though for the first time in a long time we do not have a maze at the water world queue instead it says show now Mind you, this is only speculation, so it, it, it could it could change. However, I'm not seeing a show where Jabberwocky's at, and that's because that theater is no longer um, the Special Effects Sound State Theater. Now, the rumor for that is it's going to be a Fast and Furious attraction, a roller coaster. If you want to see more on that, go check out my boy Exploring Attractions. He's got all the, the latest news on that stuff, uh, so go check that out. But Waterworld having a show. Now, that could be a wide variety of things. Um, and I don't, I, I really, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be something brand new that we've never seen, or maybe they're moving the Jabberwockies on the freaking Waterworld stage. I don't see where they're going to be able to dance, in, in my opinion. So the best way to go is to do a nighttime water show. That, that's my personal opinion. I think it will work. It's something new. It's something fresh. And I guarantee you, uh, seats will fill up 100%. Now, hold on to your butts. There's a lot to break down the speculation map, and there's a lot of uh, you know opinions about it. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about HN Nightmares' uh, second speculation map for 2023 here in Hollywood. Um, I'm, it's a 50/50. A lot of these can work. A lot of these could fail. But um, if any of these are due coming, I, I feel like we're kind of in another stacked year. A lot of people will tell you like, nah, not really. In my opinion. There's a couple of really good properties that I'm interested in seeing and, and willing to even give a chance. I, and I was the first to admit last year that I thought Weekend was actually a decent maze and it was good. Uh, Scenic-wise was great and, and they really kind of 
did the best of the job that they could with that maze. Uh, my only complaint, and I've said it many times before, is that the, they played the same six songs in line. If they would have just played all of his music, I would have been better with that. But that was my only complaint about the maze. Uh, other than that, inside the maze was actually, it was really good. So uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very now, I'm on a new kind of leave of like, when I see things that I don't know or I don't like, I'm like, well, let me give it a shot first before I even trash it. So... If Demon Slayer is coming, which is the most out there property on this map, I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to kind of learn some stuff just so I know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a pretty stacked year. But let me know what you guys think. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you guys think of HN Nightmare's second speculation map for 2023's HHN Hollywood. With all that being said, I'm your host, Anthony. You are watching the Knights of Horror, your one-stop place for all things horror and SoCal haunt related. If you guys want to go a step further to follow us on social media, at the Knights of Horror on TikTok and Instagram, at Knights of Horror on Twitter, and at Knights of Horror Gaming on Twitch. With all that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.